present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. You know, a good question on this from my other video I already posted on her about when I was talking about presenting our body a living sacrifice. And, you know, a good question from my girl, Taisha. Uh, she was talking about, you know, the tattoos and the body persons as a being holy, you know, as a person going to church. And real good question on, she said, what if I already had tattoos? And, and why do people keep judging me? And why do people think I'm a, you know, I need to take my tongue ring out of my mouth. People think I'm a bull diker. Can you just do that video kind of over again and break it down a little bit where I can understand it better? You know what? God bless you. You know, because like I said, you know, present your body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. Here's the thing about a lot of people with tattoos. And I always refer back to this scripture. When the Bible say when I was a child, I done as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away those foolish things, not saying what you are doing is foolish. What I'm saying is when I speak to myself, and like I said in the video, I, this is me for myself. I don't know what works for other people, but I can only speak for myself. I don't have markings in persons. That's me. Because I learned and got my own understanding on the scripture. Because this is not my body. My body belongs to God. He told me this is my temple. And he told me don't mark up my temple, don't person up my body. Because he wants us to give our body back to him. And while we are living, we're supposed to represent ourselves Christ-like. But you got so many holy and dire people, they judge you when, when you come to church. A lot of people had tattoos before they even started thinking about God and the word of God. And then you got people that remove their tattoos after they become saved. Because I always tell people, you know, that's always doing this judging. You, you're looking at the outside all the time. Why don't you start being like the Bible and when the Bible say you look at a man's heart, you look at a woman's heart. So, you know, this is God's body because God wants us to give our body back to him. This is temporary and that's why he wanted to be holy. He wants this to be pure because God, once God called us home, see, we so caught up on this body down here. That's why I was telling people in that video, you can't keep pausing in your body. You can't keep shooting cocaine in your body, heroin in your body. You can't keep drinking till you can't drink no more, destroying your livers. You can't keep smoking so much, then you're going to wind up in the hospital with lung cancer. Then you want to give God the remains. When you are in perfectly good health and strength, the, body say present, the Bible say present your body a living sacrifice. You hear that? Living sacrifice. We all know what sacrifice means. Holy and acceptable. And when you do anything less than holy and acceptable, like God tell us not to do, he's not pleased with it. Just like he don't want no part of sin. And we, yeah, you, we was talking about all the, the NBA players with all the tattoos and everything. But like I say, I'm not judging. That's what they want to do. My job is to tell the truth. Tell the true word of God. Present your body a living sacrifice. No, I don't have any tattoos. No, I don't have no person. And like I said in the video, yes, I had my ears pressed once before. But once I started looking at becoming a minister of music and when God was changing me, when I was being converted over, now, I had to drop a lot of stuff that, that wasn't meaning. It didn't mean nothing to me no way. Yeah. Because I represent myself Christ-like. And you got a lot of minister of music that's in front of the church with so many earrings on. Some of them even got the, the earrings in their lip. Yeah, represent, represent stuff that ain't got nothing to do with God. But that's still. I don't want God to hold me accountable for not saying the true word of God. And when he tells me to present my body living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable, that's what he means. Like I was talking about even on, on, on her and on Facebook and MySpace and all these other websites, tweet, you got people showing off their body just to get attention. Ain't nothing holy about that. And I'm not judging them. I'm just being real. Ain't nothing holy about you sticking your butt all out so the whole world can see it. Showing your breast meat. Men all over with their drawers showing, your pants hanging down. Oh, we know what that stood for if you was in a penitentiary. You better start pulling your pants up. Yeah. That's why I say when I became older, oh, yeah. I, had to, I, I quit looking at a lot of stuff I was doing because when you look at stuff when you get old, it was foolish and stupid and ignorant what you was doing. And I'm saying ignorant in the good way of being ignorant of the word because what you don't know will hurt you. Yeah. It ain't what you know that hurts you. It's what you don't know that will hurt you. So when we talk about being 
holy and acceptable. I'm not saying you got to be all holy and dial and wearing three piece suits every Sunday. Nah, but you should be holy with your with your with your wardrobe and how you wear. Now some people don't have no clothes to wear and they gotta come as they are. Instead of talking about them, ask them do they need something to wear. Yeah, because I don't think God is so concerned on what you're gonna be wearing when it's time to get up out of here. So let's be for real with this. To be hope to be holy and acceptable. We not we can't take this to the stream and I'm so sick of people down and people that got tattoos. I tell you what works for me, and that's not judging in no kind of way. If I sit here and say, I don't have no tattoos, God know that. I don't have no persons. That's me. So he did say, speak the true word and tell the truth. And that's the scripture. It's in Romans. Presenting our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. And I got to, as a minister of music, I can't be like everybody else. I'm not caught up on what everybody else is doing. I'm going to go get tattoos because such and such getting tattoos. I'm going to go get my ears pressed because you getting your, no, nah, I'm normal. I don't care nothing about all this stuff. Once upon a time in my life, I did. That's why I'd be a lying fool if I sit here and say I didn't like earrings and I didn't care about that back then. Yeah, but as I done got older, once you get past your 30s, man, you got to grow up. I started growing up early before 30. So that's why I said it was a lot of stupid stuff I did. And I'm not calling nobody stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm about the word of God now. Yeah. So if you want to wear your tattoo, get your tattoos and your ear press, I can't do nothing to stop you. That's your image, that's you. You don't have to answer to me. I don't have a heaven or a hell to put nobody in. You don't have to answer to me. I can't forgive you for your sins. I'm not God. I can't put you in the heaven. Yeah. I can move on and, and pray for my brothers and sisters because I don't judge a person. But because you got tattoos to me don't make you no thug. Yeah. But them tattoos and them long hairs will keep you from getting a job. Yeah, with your background being already bad. Because I, t I said this in the other video, and let me say this again. I look at it just like a man that just got out of prison when he's trying to find a job. If you go in a, if you go on a job interview with a muscle shirt on, a short sleeve shirt on, tattoos all up her, all on your neck, long hair, they're going to look at you like you a thug. And they do not want to hire you. So you got to find out how to present yourself uh, acceptable for that job. So if it means cutting your hair off, and covering up your tattoos with long sleeve shirts, then you do you rather do that or go back to the penitentiary or, or keep living a street life and get locked up again? So that's what I mean by that. And God bless you.